Here it is, people. It's red, it's a workhorse, and it looks like something Steve Jobs would have made if he was making a heat press. Stay tuned. Let me introduce you to the Red Llama. It's a 16 by 20 heat press by Como Langma. Um, I called it the Red Llama because it was just easier to remember that way. And when I put it on the cart, it kind of looked like a weird Red Llama. So anyway, that's what this guy is. Um, I have been looking for a larger format press for about the last year. Um, I have a smaller press, which I'm sure all of you have had or currently have at the moment. Um, going up to a 16 by 20 seems almost like you need to have it that big. Um, after you start pressing a lot of shirts, you start to realize uh, you're doing a lot more movement with the machine than you need to. Um, and all those cheaper machines just kind of lack a lot of features. So many around the budget that I was looking at, um, about 600 to $900, just didn't have the features that something like this had. And the ones that did have these features were a huge jump in price. So um, I had been looking online on Alibaba, AliExpress. Uh, they have a lot of really great presses but the problem is the shipping. Um, so the shipping would cost you almost $1,000. That was a no-go. So I had found this manufacturer, they have US stock, and I picked one up. And you know, we're all trying to save some money, guys. You know, We want the best quality for the least amount of money. And this was the one for me. So um, let's take a look at this under the hood and let's check out the red lawn. The very first thing you're going to notice is how clean and well designed it looks. I mean, seriously, with this on that matching red cart, I would just put this in the room because it looks cool. But more than just the good looks, this machine has a lot under the hood that for me, blows away anything else I found in this price range. It has this really cool auto opening feature. I think it's electromagnetic so that when you push down the top plate, it starts the timer. And when the timer's done, it pops it right open for you, totally automatic. This was a huge plus for me. So that way I don't have to worry about burning anything if I'm stepping away for a second. The frame is built like a tank. I mean, this thing is solid compared to my last press I was working with. It has a cool die casted molded top plate, which gives it its cool look. I mean, it looks like a race car to me. Now the next feature alone is pretty much why I wanted this. Um, it has a bottom pull out plate. Um, this helps tremendously if you have big orders. If you've been doing a lot of shirts, you'll know that that top plate can get really hot. I knew that, that I needed a bottom pull out plate and that's why I love this one. Um, this is a huge plus and just this option alone seemed to add hundreds of dollars to any of the other presses I saw. So far, the digital thermometer and timer are working great. Um, it seems like it's right on the money and it plugs right into a regular wall socket, 110 volt, so you don't have to worry about calling an electrician to set up some special uh, plug for your machine. Um, and when you put it on this cart, it's nice and easy to maneuver. So you, like I said, you can put it in the corner and then just pull it out when you're ready to make that money. It comes with a two year warranty and it also ships out of Los Angeles. All right, so what are my final thoughts? Okay, so the pros, um, super easy to use. Um, really nice high end features. And it looks like a Lamborghini or a Ferrari. It just looks so cool on the cart. It was such a big uh, improvement. For the cons, uh, I, I don't really have one yet guys. And if I do, I will let you know, but this is a good machine, you know, really smooth action on it. The digital uh, display is great. The automatic open is a no brainer and this open shelf at the bottom is great. So um, I give it a full thumbs up, uh, definitely check it out. And honestly, I'm gonna even tell you this, it, I, I fell in love with this machine so much. I'm talking to the manufacturer now. I'm gonna try to start distributing these actually through give me signs because I think this is a pretty quality machine for the price and I think a lot of people could get a lot of benefit out of a machine like this um, and you probably just don't even know what to get where to get it so um, keep your eyes open guys for that um, for the cart if you guys need a cart 
Harbor Freight has these. I'm gonna put a link down below for you guys. Um, they have different color ones. This was a uh, actually a three shelf cart that I just didn't put it in the second shelf. Uh, but this is great. The trick is, is when you get these carts, because uh, it's just a service cart is what it is. So it's actually supposed to have a uh, like a, a top open shelf area you can stick stuff in. I flip it upside down so that way it becomes a tabletop. And then I use some of these, uh, you can get these at the 99 cent store. They're just kind of like some grip uh, pads, you know, they normally use for dishes. But I put it underneath and it makes it a totally super grip uh, top for uh, press. So anyway, um, I'll put the link down below. Um, please like and subscribe if these videos are informative to you or you'd like to have more videos. Uh, please like and subscribe and if you have questions leave them down in the comments below and I will get to them as soon as possible So anyway again, this is the 16 by 20 red llama uh, by Como Langma um, It's a hard one to say guys um, And as soon as I figure out a way to get you a link for this I will put it down in the description and Until next time it's BC. Thanks a lot <laughs>